You're watching HOI 19 News. Accurate, balanced, to the point. Experts say there are thousands of people here in the heart of Illinois who have a bleeding disorder and don't even know it. Nosebleeds that don't go away and bleeding gums when you brush your teeth are just a couple of examples. We talked to a mother fighting to get her son's disease under control in this month's Health Watch. Five-year-old Chase Murgo is doing what he loves most, playing baseball. Who is your favorite cub? Number one, look at all me. It's one of the few sports he can play. Chase has a bleeding disorder called Von Willebrand's disease. Your elbow would hit him. He'd be fine during the day, but that night he would have a nosebleed because of the bump to the head. That's why Chase has to avoid all contact sports. What seems like a minor injury for him can be a scary nosebleed. He would cover a pillowcase, a full beach towel, uh, his shirt, and they were, complete, were white to begin with and then just completely covered. Dr. Michael Tarantino is one of the nation's leading hematologists. He runs a comprehensive bleeding disorder clinic in Peoria. I think in truth we're really, we're really still in that process of fully understanding Von, von Willebrand disease. We talked to him about the risk factors for a bleeding disorder, nosebleeds that last more than a few minutes, gums that bleed when you brush your teeth. If your teeth and gums are healthy, they shouldn't really bleed after you brush them. A family history of bleeding disorders, women with heavy menstrual cycles. So it really shouldn't last for more than seven days, and the amount of time uh, that uh, you know a woman has to tend to the bleeding uh, shouldn't be more than every couple hours. And women who become anemic during menstruation. Dr. Tarantino estimates there are around 3,000 people in the heart of Illinois with von Willebrand's disease, like Chase, and many of them don't know it. If those people are in an accident, have surgery, or have a tooth pulled, it could lead to passing out, infection, or even death. If the hematoma is big enough, it can cause the person to become anemic, and that can put a strain on their heart, and so it could, it could be very serious. Chase's mom has a slight case of Von Willebrand's. Chase's is more serious. In the beginning, he was terrified. It would kick and scream. It would take seven of us to hold him down to draw blood. And Chase is handling the disease like a pro. He now carries his $700 medical nasal spray with him in a cooler in case of an injury. It's something other people don't have to do, but just knowing he's protected is a relief. It's a lot of the same things. I mean, he's going to have this for the rest of his life, and we'll just educate, and he'll know what to do and lead a comp completely normal life. We don't and this little baseball fan already has a goal in life, to play baseball on TV. That dream came true today. Woo! And Chase will continue his baseball dreams when he turns six. This August, he'll be throwing the first pitch at the Chiefs game. Health Watch is sponsored by Methodist Medical Center. You can find more information on Von Willebrand's disease on our website, which is hoinews.com.